to all of you beautiful FabFitFun viewers. Ooh, girl, we're gonna start it right now. OMG, I can't wait. It's game show time. I like yes. this. Beauty and the Box. It's like You're winning. Go. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. Okay. Right. DIY made it, love it. Get a little bit of a workout in. Just a little flirty shoulder. Cute. Kind of therapeutic. And it's a What's up? What's down? So cute. It's actually a drag trick too, which is really helpful. Oh, even well. better. <laughs> Perfect. I can go out like this. <laughs> Open your own spa out of your apartment. I'm going to. Oh, good. I'm coming <laughs> over. Let's do it. The show starts now. Hi everyone, welcome back to FabFitFun Live. I am Natalie West and it is Friday, so let's kick your weekend off right with an amazing new show. Now we are kicking things off with Get a Clue, which means you could win. You know that we love to give away lots of amazing swag, so bring it ladies and six of you might just win in a couple of moments. After that, we are introducing our shop. Now this is a place that members can go and shop even after sales have ended. Yeah, you heard me correctly, and we are going to be highlighting some of our favorite items that are shoppable right now. And then later, big brows are back, so celebrity brow artist, artist Susie Moldovan is here, and she's going to give us some great tips on how to get that enviable Lily Collins brow. So make sure you stick around for that, and as always, stick around to the end of the show for our daily trivia question, because you'll get another chance to win some amazing prizes. All right, Chloe and Talia, you guys are up. Thanks, Natalie. Let's get this weekend started off uh, right, shall we? Yes. Okay, we are gonna give away a hot bundle of products. Six hot bundles to be exact. Multiple products, multiple winners. I love this game. So let's just get to it. It's time to play Get, get a, a clue. clue. Here's what's up for grabs. We have a fantastic lip butter from Sol de Janeiro Ooh. called Brazilian Kiss. I That's love right this here. Stuff. Mm, love it. A My Tag Alongs in-flight kit. Oh, so helpful. Very helpful. We all need that. Must have. We have a beautiful eyeshadow palette from Smith & Colt. These are really fun colors. Yeah, that is. Like okay, what's lot. next? We have a pure Marula facial oil. Gorgeous. And the Zoe Isla electronic brush cleaner. I need this. I know, I gotta me clean too. those brushes. Always. <laughs> this prize pack is valued at more than $200. Oh, this is a good prize pack. All right, here's how to play, you guys. We have 10 clues ranging from super obscure to really simple. The clues are related to a person, place, or thing. We will read them one by one, and when you know the answer, write it in the comments section. The first three people to get it right win. But first, before we get started, mm -hmm. here's a word from legal. Kiara. <laughs> We have in our hands the 2024 Summer Box. I'm so excited to... There's nothing in mine. What? There's nothing in my box. Ugh. My box is empty. How can they do this to me? They hate us. They hate us? Is this some type of practical joke? I, I thought understand. we were getting like, top secret what? information. What's on here? Oh, hey. Uh, hey. We're the FabFitFun legal team. And we're here to remind you that even though your comment appears first on your Facebook page, it doesn't mean you've won the game. We're choosing winners based on who we see first on our Facebook page. Because our Facebook page is the one that matters. The only one. And I'm going to judge this competition. I can't believe there's nothing in our box. Serious. So rude. Stars. Literally, who knew all the talent we had upstairs? But they do mean business, so don't forget what they said. Someone should get those guys their own show. I know, they are fun. <laughs> okay, checking in real quick to see who's with us. I like to see all my lovely ladies. Let's see. Oh, uh, we've got Summer. Dawn. Heather, we see you. Hi, Hi guys. Oh, we have Joan and Carla. Iris is watching in New York. Hi, Hi. Iris. Okay, Elaine Crespo is watching from work. She says, hopefully it's a lucky day for me to win. We hope it uh, is, Elaine. We hope Elaine. for you too, Elaine. Bobby says, hot bundle. This is a hot this bundle. This is a hot bundle. It covers a lot of areas. Okay, Rachel Berkowitz says, oh my God, I need this. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. We we're excited it. for you. We get well, it. Let's just do it, you guys. Let's play Get a Clue. And here is your first clue. Parents.
parents either love me or hate me. Ooh. All right, your next clue is, people fear I may become extinct in future years. Hmm. Oh, your next clue, you probably visit me at least once a month. Okay, well, I have an idea about that, but. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's another clue. There are over 50,000 of me in the U.S. Okay. Next clue is, I offer something for literally everyone. I like this, whatever it is. Yeah. I already like it. Your next clue is, I can be dangerous for your wallet. Oh, uh-oh. Hmm. Your next clue is, I was inspired by European markets. Okay, your next clue, there's a board game made about me. Ooh. Okay. We're on to that. We know it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and your next clue is, my biggest U.S. Mecca is in Minnesota. Okay, your next clue, you could avoid me and go online. Okay. Whoa. Well, there we go. Those are all our clues. Let's check in on some guesses here. Okay. What are people saying? We see cell phone. Batteries. Okay, there's a couple of guesses for Facebook. Okay. Oh. I, would someone guess pacifiers? <laughs> Public library. I like that. That yeah. makes sense. Credit cards. Credit cards. That's a good guess. Oh, Amazon. Oh, yeah. yeah, Amazon. But then with the go online, that, that is that. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 we yeah. have a mall. A mall. Okay, brick and mortar stores. That's another guess. Yeah, that's good. Lots of good guesses here. Ooh, it's okay. kind of all over the board. I say we reveal the correct answer, Tali. Yes. What do you think? I'm in agreement. The answer is a, a shopping, shopping mall. mall. Yay! Oh. Yes. Our producers are quickly gathering our winners. I am really excited for all of you. Okay. Oh, we have them. Okay. <sighs> the first three people to have answered correctly are... Valerie Norton. I got so excited. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabrielle Renslow and Charity Belint. Yay! Congratulations, Here from the beginning. Valerie. Valerie. Here from the beginning, girl. You got it. You deserve it. <laughs> Congratulations to our winners. For the three lucky winners, we'll be in contact about getting your prizes delivered to you. For everyone else out there, don't worry. We are playing round two of Get, get a, a Clue. clue. <laughs> okay, so now we know you're all experts at the game. Let's just get right into it. Okay, remember, the first three viewers that we see to write in below with the correct answer will win this totally luxurious prize pack. Mm -hmm. Here is your first clue. I am light and portable enough to fit in a bag. Okay. Hmm. Your next clue, I usually cost less than $20. Okay, affordable. Great. Your next clue is, I'm typically made from cotton, nylon, plastic, or leather. Hmm. Definitely a thing. Okay. <laughs> Your next clue is, odds are you learned to use me as a child. Hmm. Next clue, I am still a playground favorite. Hmm. Okay. okay. Something all ages can use. Your next clue is, adults also use me to exercise. Okay. Your next clue is 15 minutes with me and you'll burn off the calories of a candy bar. Oh, I want this, this. I want to find <laughs> this. Okay, your next clue is you can use me alone or with a friend or two. Hmm, I wonder if we've ever used this thing. I don't know. I don't know. Your next clue is Sylvester Stallone used me in Rocky. I know. I still don't know. <laughs> okay, oh I know. Okay, <laughs> your next clue is Crisscross and double dutch are my favorite moves. Okay. All right. We got to check out what you guys think. Yeah, Let's what are see. these guesses here? Okay, we see wallet. People are thinking wallet, lipstick, cell phone we got. We got a guess for umbrella. Oh, that's fun. Mirror and flashlight. I wonder if Sylvester Stallone is Used in a that. Yeah. Um, okay, we got a guess for jump rope. We also have a guess for vacuum cleaner. Ooh. That's a fair guess. Yeah. Swings. Oh, swings. Because mm. they're on the playground. Yeah. I, I feel like he was running around Philadelphia, maybe with one of vacuum our swings. Cleaners. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Flashlight in hand. Okay, it is time to reveal the answer. <laughs> the answer is jump rope. Yay! 
Okay, our FabFitFun team is diligently checking the feed to make sure we get the first three correct comments on our feed. Oh, it looks like we have our three winners. These are the first three people to have answered correctly. Congratulations to Felicia C., Dorothy Caldwell Anthony, and Kristen Piazza. Oh, yeah. oh, enjoy your amazing bundle, ladies. Congratulations. And everyone else watching, be sure to stick around for another chance to win during Daily Trivia with Natalie. Now we're throwing it over back to you. What you got? Thank you, ladies. We will see you both on Monday. Yeah. All right, it is time to get right to our trending topics of the day. Number one, big news. Breaking Bad, the movie is happening, yo. Yes, series star Walter White, or played by Brian Cranston, did confirm the rumor on the Dan Patrick show. And Cranston also said that he hasn't even seen the script yet, and he's not sure if Walter White is going to be in the movie. How, how is that even possible? How do you do a Breaking Bad movie without Walter White? I don't know. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that one. Next up, we want to give a big congratulations to new mom and dad, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. Now, the happy couple welcomed their first child together via surrogate on Wednesday night. And the proud papa announced her birth on Instagram using the lyrics to the Bill Withers song, Lovely Day, which is so sweet. They are such a beautiful couple, so congratulations to them. And finally, this is something that's been buzzing around the office, and I really want to share it with you guys. You know that the add-on sale ended yesterday, and everyone's feeling a little bummed about that. So we are excited to announce that we have officially launched Shop. Now, this is a place exclusively for members to go and shop, even when it's not a sale day. And you can find deals on beauty products, fashion items, homeware, jewelry, barware. So we've got a little bit of everything. And you know what? Why don't, why don't we go take a look at what we've got over here? Come on over. All right. So. We have some beautiful products from Ish here. We have this incredible lipstick line. We have all of their beautiful palettes. We've got nail polishes. We have that shimmy shadow we showed yesterday on the show that everyone was so in love with. Moving down to some amazing Summer and Rose products. We've got hats, clutches. I love these weekend getaway bags. We have jewelry, body illuminizer. You know, in the winter, you still want to get a little glow on. We've got blankets and hats, and you know, for the holiday, one of my favorites, these cozy blankets. You are definitely want to cuddle up on the couch, wrap yourself in one of these. These are so beautiful. And today and over next week, we're going to be highlighting some of these collections. But to start things off, and since it's Friday, I am in the mood for a celebratory drink. Anybody else? Woo! Oh, yes. All right, so today we are featuring our chic and tonic barware. Now, this is shoppable right now on our website, fabfitfun.com forward slash shop. All right, I think it's cocktail time. So I am going to take a little stroll and have a cocktail. Everyone, please welcome Constantine Williams. He is the lead bartender at the Culver Hotel here in Los Angeles and is known to make some killer cocktails. Yeah. Hi, Constantine. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. All right. So uh, what deliciousness are you going to be making We're going to be making today? the Ruby Slipper. It's Ooh. a vodka-based raspberry cocktail. Really easy. Yum. Just take a couple raspberries, a little bit of mint in there. Mm -hmm. Squeeze about a half lime. I like the fresh yeah. ingredients. Yeah. Fun thing about this cocktail is there's no muddling. Raspberries are such a delicate uh, fruit that, that they you disperse. don't need to muddle them. Yeah, oh, I love exactly. that. Good tip. Fun tips today. Yeah. All so right. So we're we... gonna take the good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. It's Friday, guys. All right. About an ounce and a half. And we've got this beautiful chic and tonic line that we're using here. We have the cocktail shaker that's made of that copper-colored stainless steel, which is perfect for shaking up a drink with your girlfriends, or just placing it on your bar cart as decor. Oh. The ice. Add the ice. We're going to shake it up. Here we go. There we go. The best part. <laughs> and then we have the matching set of the stemless wine tumblers. And the whole set is just so pretty. And, you know, using it makes me feel like an adult that really has it together. Or, you know, someone who actually throws a cocktail party. Either one. So we want to say bye to, you know, solo cups and hello to chic and tonic. All right. How are we there doing? There we go. We're doing good. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. And then we're going to fill the glass up with more ice. Keep it nice and cold. 
And then the celebratory part. Oh, I love a Prosecco. Sparkling. Yeah. So. All right, so while we're popping this bottle, now do you consider yourself a bespoke bartender who's constantly coming up with new cocktails? I do, I do. I just came up with one at the Cover Hotel called the Smoking Gun. All so right, it's a mezcal infused cocktail mm. with jalapenos and pineapples. Ooh, so yeah. a little bit of the smoky and sweet smoky, mixed together. Smoky, sweet, a little bit of spicy. Ooh, uh, I love mezcal. Let that mezcal. sit for 72 hours. Oh, Then use that fancy. as the base, a little bit of pineapple juice, lime juice, agave syrup, and then tahini on top. Ooh, you know, everyone tells me if you put tahini on like mango or cucumber that it's really good, and I have not yeah. tried that yet, but All that of us, sounds uh, amazing. Los Angeles natives know about that tahini, so. <laughs> That's the trade secret. It's really good, yeah. Another little fun fact. Any herb or spice, just slap it, irritate it, it releases the oils, and that's Look the essence that this. you want to get. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. All right, so what drink order makes you absolutely cringe as a bartender? Uh, it's not necessarily the drink order, because mm -hmm. take, for instance, like uh, Midori Sour. It's got a bad reputation because back in the day, people were using like Rose's Lime Juice or High Corn Fructose Syrup, but if you just take like fresh apples, fresh melons, cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, Ooh. juice that and use that as the base. So it's all about the good ingredients. Yeah, yeah. it'll Love come out that. great. And now this cup got so nice and cold incredibly quickly. I mean, these were not pre-chilled. He just add the ice and this is going to keep your drink nice and cold for a long time throughout the night. I am in love with this and it's just so pretty and I love something without a stem because it makes me a lot less likely to drop it on the floor. All right, I want to take a sip of this. I feel like I'm, I'm going to get myself started over here. All right, so tell us about some of your favorite cocktail recipes that you're working up right now? Uh, classic Negroni actually is one of them. And it's a really simple cocktail. It's just equal parts, Campari, sweet vermouth, and gin. But the secret with this one is there's a distillery in the Arts District called the Spirit Guild. Mm -hmm. So they have their own gin, Ooh. and the base of it is Clementines. Yum. So I'm really into that right now. That sounds delicious. Yeah. And also, this is absolutely delicious. And you know, I wouldn't even mind paying the obscene prices that you guys get away with charging us here in LA for this magical drink. Yeah. Um, I feel like someone else on the crew is gonna want some of these too. Anyone else on the crew want a drink? Oh, I feel like after your swaddling yesterday, yeah, you definitely it. deserve a cocktail. Yes, enjoy that. This is so good, right? Oh I God. know, so the Amazing. fresh ingredients make all the difference in the world. And you know what? I think we're gonna post the recipe to this in the FabFitFun community for all of you because I want you all to taste this too. Oh, look at this. You are fast. All right, who else wants a cocktail? Well, Jeff wants a cocktail. Who else? We got one more. We we'll give one to the cameraman. The cameraman. All right. We, thank you so much for joining us today, thank you Constantine. For having me. Um, this is really beautiful and amazing trips today, and thank you for getting me a little tipsy on Friday's show. I will be seeing you at the Culver City Hotel. Please do. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Now, if you are shopping right now, use code CHIC20 for 20% off when you check out. And the code is good for today only. So make sure you share it with all of your friends too and get to shopping. All right, don't go anywhere because coming up in a couple of minutes, we have celeb brow artist Susie Moldovan with tips to achieve that big, beautiful brow. But right now, I have another very special treat for you. So please enjoy this video of the FabFitFun office dogs wearing GoPros.
I mean, I think we should have doggy Olympics in the office all the time. They are just too cute. So who votes that we just air that for an hour straight? <laughs> I want you all to know that everyone in the studio has their hands up because we love our furry friends here at FabFitFun. If you ever hear barking during a Facebook Live, it is probably one of the cuties that you saw in that video. And you know who else we love? Our incredible member of the day, and today it is Beth Crumrine. Now, Beth has been a loyal member of the USO, volunteering two to three times a month to support the US military and their families. So Beth, thank you for doing what you do. We celebrate you today. Love you, Beth. All right, everyone switching gears a little bit. How is my brow game? All right, Simon, will you come in here and get real close? We're going to get real personal right now. Get up and close in those brows. How do they look? Now, these haven't been waxed in about five years, just some light maintenance. How are we doing? Are they good? I think you look amazing. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Everyone, please welcome celebrity brow artist and owner of Flybrow, Susie Moldovan. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Hi. Hi. You have lipstick on your forehead. I have lipstick on my forehead, but if my brows look good, then <laughs> I'm good. doing something right. So right. we are on the right myself. track here. All right, so first up, yes. big brows are back, right? They are. They're very in right now. I call it the model brow. Mm. A lot of kind of a shaggier, fuller brow look. I think um, is sort of what we're seeing everywhere. I still think for regular women, we need to keep them a little bit, you know, manicured. But big brows are in. Big brows are in. Are there any other new brow trends happening right now? I mean, brows, I, I think they're always kind of changing. But the truth is, when you do a trend, you have to do it based on like what's on your face, yeah. right? You can't pick a trend. Like I would love to have a big bushy brow, but like I don't grow hair right there. So and you can't force that. You can't force that. Yeah. So you can use product to sort of fill in the gaps where you don't have hair. But most of the time, you follow the trend, but you also have to honor what's there. What looks good on your face. Exactly. All yeah. right, so let's get to filling some brows. Now, I heard that you had the pleasure of shaping the brows of one of our producers I yesterday. Did. Yes. yes. And I know you took pleasure in it because her brows were absolutely unruly. Well, she was growing them back in for eight months, which is a really significant That's a long growth. time. It is. It really is. So she, like, put in the time, committed to it, which a grow back is like a definite commitment. Oh, yeah. And then we got to have some fun. I love this. Yeah. All right, so everyone, here is a before of Lauren's brows. Now, her brows were groomed by Susie yesterday, and now she will get them filled in live. Look at this difference that happens so quickly. Yes, and oh. she really expressed to me that she wanted to keep them really full. We had sort of, you know, had the discussions ahead of time what she wanted. And so even while I waxed them, I didn't take them super tight or small because that's not what she wanted. Right, you wanted right? to honor that big brow. You want brow. to honor the big brow. So then we took a couple different products and we filled them in. And I would love to tell you guys and teach you guys today how yes. we did that. I mean, look at, look at that amazing difference. All right, Lauren, come on out here. Hello. Our producer, Lauren, everyone. Hi, guys. Okay. Look, yes. I was so excited when I woke up this morning because they look good without even doing Isn't anything to them. So thank you very you much for that. You're so welcome. But thank now you I know you're going to fill them in. I am going to fill them in. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So before you fill in her brows, Susie, now I know yes. that you've said that there are three things that women need to know before filling in their brows. So what are those? So for the most part, first you need to talk to your client and sort of find out her journey. Or if it's not your client, even if it's you, like where did you, how did you get to today? Did you have a good experience, a bad experience? Do you grow a lot of hair? You don't grow a lot of hair. So then you really need to deal with the direction of the hair growth, the color of the hair, and the margins of the hair um, to find out like the top and bottom borders and the front and back margins. Those so would like be my like top tips. Love hair it. to hair. Exactly. There's yeah. a lot of mistakes, I would say myths on the internet if mm -hmm. you Google like where should a brow begin. A lot of them show pictures of like um, I you know, tear ducts and outsides of noses. And to me, that doesn't make any sense because everyone's nose is different. Sure. So everyone, I guide to the bridge of the nose or the ball of the nose. And so, you know, if you have that hair, that would be your front margin or your back margin, your top and bottom border. Amazing. Yeah. So look at these, the brows, literally without even doing anything to them yet. Right. So they're really beautiful. We left them bigger and bushier than, you know, maybe someone else might have because I knew that she sort of had this journey of growing them back. So like there are some sparse little hairs. I don't know if you guys can see it from back there, but there are some little sparse guys, but, but we wanted that. We kind of went for that look, right? Yes, I wanted as shaggy as possible without looking like a monster. Exactly. <laughs> 
And you know, they, they, they weren't flattering your face before, but now they are the frame that your face needed. Yeah, I woke up and I was like, wow, thank yes. you. Yes. This was amazing. That's, the, that's my best thing. When somebody wakes up the next day and thinks of you the next day. Yeah. Then you've really done your then job. Then you've done your job, exactly. All right, so should we fill those brows in? Yes, Am so in a good spot first for you? we'll talk about, um, Lauren's brows grow like definitely up and out, kind of in the sort of ideal direction. Um, we'll use a little uh, pencil spoolie right here to sort of show you what I mean. What color is this? Medium, okay. So, you know, if you brush them kind of up and out, you can see that that's the direction they grow and it, it looks like it would lay really nicely when you do that. Um, the next thing you need to look at is sort of the margins. So like, where do her brows begin? They, they're kind of, you know, naturally right there. I like to cheat it in a little if they go out a little too far. Her tails is what she's been growing back in. So if you look at this tail end right here, they're a little sparser, but she is grow, you know, she grew them back. So any hair we get in that area is like gold. We, we are not taking that off. Everyone is already yes. loving your brows on Facebook, oh, Lauren. Hey, so we are crushing you. it so far. Oh, God, I Susie, know. you're a genius. <laughs> it makes me happy. I would do it all day long. Do we have the before photo? Have we put it up oh, yet? Yeah, like, they were monsters. They were oh, just they unshaped. Okay, they were just unshaped. So then the next thing you're going to do is look at that. We looked at the margins. We looked at the direction of the hair growth. Now you're going to look at the color. So for a brunette, I always like to say um, pick the lighter shade in the brunette color. So even though your hairs might be dark brown, like your hairs are darker than your hair color. I'm not going to fill them in with a dark, dark pencil because I want to bring warmth to your face. Mm -hmm. I want to make everything match. And you have these beautiful green hazely eyes. You have warmth in your hair, kind of like a warm brown. And even though your brows are a little bit ashier, I'm going to fill them in with something a little bit warmer. Yeah. To really it, make it pop. Exactly. And if you're a blonde, the rule goes the other way. If you're a blonde, you're going to pick something closer to the root. Most blondes are really light at the bottom and ashier at their root. And a blonde's brows look better when you fill them in with like an ashier, topier color because they need more of the darkness because their brows are lighter. Love that. So are like you I paying just take attention, ladies? This and go like this. Yeah, so you need, to, you, you need to make Beautiful. it look good at eye level, right? So That's here's perfect. where your brows are. You kind of want it to look good somewhere around here. For a blonde, you're going to reach into the root. And for a brunette, you're going to go somewhere between here and the bottom. Right. So on you, we're going to use, um, we're going to start with the Ish pencil, mm -hmm. which is available oh, on your site. We love the Ish pencil. Yes. Ish is on the shop now. <laughs> so for Lauren, I'm going to kind of do a combo. Um, I'm going to start with the medium, which is a warm color. It has a little bit of red in it, which we need to put a little warmth into her brow. And then I'm going to do a couple tricks. I don't know if you guys want to get closer here, but. Yeah, people are loving the tips, by the way. Amazing. So, yes. Thank Keep you. them coming. So we're going to start with her borders. I like to start at the bottom border which is this bottom line right down here. And we're just going to lay in the border. And I'm going to skip that one little shaggy hair just because it's it belongs there, but we're not going to draw with it. So that's her bottom border. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference there. Oh, yeah. OK, so then we're going into the top border. So her top border is all the way up here. This is the top border. And you're going to, this to me was what I, when I talk about real estate of the eyebrow, this is using the full real estate, right? <laughs> you don't want to leave hairs floating out. Sometimes people don't understand that the root of the hair is also where the border is. So we're going to use that root space to get the top of that hair color. Okay. And so then we just fill in the middle. So border, border, fill is sort of the way it's easy to remember. And this is a nice warm color. Now, it's not exactly the shade of her brows, but it is a really nice backfill color. Um, and so what I'm going to then do, of course, just because we are we can make it tricky for today. She may not do this every day in the bathroom. She'll do this part. This is easy. But do you guys, I just want to show you the, the color difference. This is not perfect yet, but oh do you see God. how that adds a little warmth into her sort of ashier brow shade and it now it matches her hair and her eyes and it kind of is really warm looking. That is amazing. Yeah. Kimberly M says I've never had the luxury of dealing with an actual brow boss oh, babe oh, and everyone so is finding these so helpful. So oh that's we love so this. awesome. I love that. Well you can always DM us and <laughs> ask us any brow questions you want. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, which this might be a little bit of a fancier step, but just because we're having fun and we're making yeah, it perfect. I like it. Uh, we are going to take a gel. So this is a really dark gel. This is an ebony color. This is closer to her brow shade. And I'm going to um, take a little bit of this gel onto a really fine brush. And I'm going to draw a couple hair strokes because I'm just going to make her brows a little oh. fuller without making them blocks. This to me is my new favorite technique. I'm like obsessed with this and I feel like I'm doing it everywhere. But you do need to use darker colors. So this is going to be really fine to see, but I'm going to reach in here and pull just some hair strokes. So I'm just going to like jump in here and do a couple strokes. You can soften those off if you want. 
And we're gonna go just along the border on the bottom just to do a couple more. And remember in the tail where I said that that was sort of gold because she was growing back these hairs? We're gonna go in there and just lay a couple strokes down here at the end, just so it looks like hair. Because if you don't have a full brow, you can just put the hair in. This is sort of like the, the easiest way to mimic microblading, which is another big fad oh, that's out right now. Smart. And you know, it's sort of the, every, you don't, you're not committed, it's just a product. You're just throwing in some pencil and some gel. And does the spoolie, is it kind of like a blending tool It almost? is. I always spoolie every product. I spoolie a powder, I spoolie a pencil, I spoolie a gel. Everything. To me, you always need a spoolie. Okay. Um, and so you just kind of soften that off on the brow there. And then... Um, Being that I just found out what a spoolie was, it's this thing. It's that thing. <laughs> uh, Michelle yeah. says that she stinks at doing her own brow, so she is so happy that you're showing oh, all I'm of this. Oh, I'm so glad. Michelle, you're so, getting all the good tips today. And then you can highlight it at the bottom, you know, if you need to. A highlighter is a really nice tool to separate the margins of the brows from the eye space, so you're separating where the brow lives from where the eye lives. So, and then, you know, we can do the other one to make her look beautiful, because, you know, why Even you out a little well. bit. Exactly. Well, we can't walk around like this. No, you yeah. cannot. Can't with one not, brow. Especially not if we're putting our name on them. <laughs> These are not fly brows. And now, Stacey Johnson says, I love doing the ombre effect with brow pencil and a tinted brow gel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that something that you've seen so happen a lot? So, interesting. So, brow gel is a very specific product. Um, I think a brow gel is an amazing product for a light-haired colored person, mm -hmm. um, because you can drag the, the um, pigment through the hair. The brow gel is not an amazing product for somebody with darker hair because it doesn't show up that much. Usually, so see how we're putting the color on her skin? So in order for her brows to look really full and filled in, she needs the color on her skin. Gotcha. The brow gel puts the color in the hair. So what about something like a clear brow gel just clear to brow hold gel the brow in amazing. place? Okay. Clear brow gel is my, like one of my favorite products. It just adds that final finishy, shiny, beautiful kind of sheen. So this is the medium on her, sort of in the behind. And you can see her brows are different from each other, right? Nobody's brows are the same, but our goal is to make them look like twins, you know, with product. So we use what nature gave us, and we use product to sort of round out the rest of it. So now they look more like twins. Um, they're very warm and beautiful and filled in, but she has more hair on this tail. So this tail has a couple more hairs than the other one, even though we're also growing this tail back. So we're gonna jump back in and just add her, again, a couple of strokes. Uh, Carrie Michelle Williams says, ah, that's so cool. I feel like I make mine like blocks, and the more I try to fix them, the worse they get. So this <laughs> technique is bomb, she says. Yay, I love that, yes. And I think this technique is really what's happening. You know, you we talked about fads at the beginning about model brows and really cool things that are happening. And I think the microblading feathered like hair stroke brow effect is really where it's at. So um, it, it's not an easy thing to do, but everything takes practice. You're not gonna wake up one morning and just draw your brows on it. It's not gonna look perfect. It takes practice. So, you know, just it, the worst thing that happens is it looks terrible, you wipe it off and you go back to the way you did it and you practice again. Right, it's, it's makeup, it comes exactly. off. Exactly. So exactly. Teresa wants to know if there is a brow growth technique that's not expensive. So brow growth is interesting. I mean, brow growth is free. You just don't touch your brows. Easy <laughs> check. Yes. But um, you can use some of, the, some of the serums that are out right now, but I believe that brows only grow back where they used to be. So if you had thick brows and tweezed them off, they might come back with a gel. But it won't grow back in a new It won't area, grow but... new hairs, right? It. Otherwise, we'd be using them everywhere. That's like, true. Men would be using them on their head. <laughs> um, so yeah, it won't grow. I don't believe it grows hair where, they, where it never was, only where it Used, used to, to be. be. Mm -hmm. I mean, this looks so. Wait, wait, look at you. Bump it for the audience. Oh yes, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, love it. Wait, where's the camera? Oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yes. What do we Work think? Work those brows. I mean, you look incredible. I the mean, difference is amazing. I feel like Borda Borda Phil changed my life. Oh yeah, so I love thank that. you. You're um, so but I do have another producer on the show that constantly complains about kind of having some spots missing in her brows, and they're a little yes. thinner and. So I would fix I'd brows like her to all come day up, long. If come you will, out. Jody, yes. Yes. come on out. I love Jody. it. Jody, yay! Hi, Jody. Hi. How are you? I'm good, but I'm scared. Are you? Talk yes. to me why you're scared. I've had many uh, wax that have just. I could tell they just what they waxed off was never coming back. Okay, so, so let's I'm, look. I'm can now I look very at your scared. Brows? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna clip your hair away so we can all kind of see. See What's the happening thinness. here? Okay, so you have a little PTSD. Yes, definitely. Okay, and so you haven't done your brows in how long? Like three years. Okay. <laughs> oh, so All right, so here's, so here's, 
Here's what we know right now, right? This, with this little bit of information, what we know is that they're not going to grow back. I can't tell her to go home and grow her brows. Three years is that's all you're going to get, right? So. What we're going to do is um, I'll tell you a couple things about your brows. Okay. So first of all, what I can see is a while ago or three years ago, somebody um, tried to arch you mm -hmm. right here, which is really early. It's a very common mistake. The arch does belong behind the iris, so back here. And you, when you end up with little holes in the front like that, it, it just means somebody was trying to arch you early and didn't quite understand your optimal brow shape. So sad. Well, it's okay. Wait, wait I'm going to make magic. Ready? Okay. okay, the other thing I want to tell you, remember we talked the first three tips about the direction of the hair growth? Mm -hmm. So the direction of your brows actually grows down. So the way you can tell that is here the roots grow up and to the side. And here, they actually grow this way. You can kind of see the hairs, and I'll show you with the spoolie. So here, if you brush them up, they, they make kind of a U shape when they grow down. They never get quite clean. Hmm. I've, so. I've actually been taking mine and trying to get this. Right, <laughs> but so hers grow up, so it's easier, right? Yours don't. Yours grow up in the front, but actually here they grow down. And so what we should do is listen to what your brow wow. is telling us, actually, right? Your brow is saying, I actually grow this way. If you want to get a better arch in here, you're going to have to cut it in. So that's what I'm going to do. May I? Do this. Wow. I'll, Can you wait, take a deep perfect. breath? Are you okay? Yes. Yes. He wants to know where you put the arch, so this is perfect. Yes. So Amy, are you listening? Here's how I'm going to do it. And I will say this is very common. The backs of my brows, brows grow down as well. Um, it's very common in Asian brows. Asian brows grow down all the time. The only way to get your arch in there is to cut it in. So You're fine, Jody. We got this. It's, we it's, need a it's a two second. <laughs> yeah. Who's got Wrong the segment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put my scissor sort of right in here where her arch is, and I'm just going to snip it just a little. I don't know if you guys saw that hair pop off. Yeah. And we are just cleaning them up just a little, and I'm going to fill them in now. So Jody is more of a taupe color, so if you are an ish box user, you, ha you would buy taupe. Well, so Kayla actually wants to know how to find your specific eyebrow color. Right. So um, it's very different per product. Um, there's so many on the market today. There's gels and powders and all kinds of different things. And so the, to find your right color, you, um, you really have to look at your brow hair and your head hair. You know, kind of like what we were talking about with Lauren to sort of bring the warmth back to her brow. Okay, so I'm going to just tweeze a couple hairs here. I honestly never knew about growing down versus up. Yeah, and why would you know that? I mean, it's not, you, you're good at producing. <laughs> You can't be good at everything. You can't be good at everything. You have to leave something for the rest of us. Yes. So, um, okay, I'm just going to fine tune really a little. I actually remember the feeling when, like, that those hairs were waxed off that I knew were never you getting do? back. You do? Taking you back. Oh, my. That wow. is PTSD. It is because they're so thin. Yes, but they're not thin. Just hang on a second. So, so this is also about brow. real estate. Did you used to have, like, a bigger brow? I think I had. I just I didn't have these holes that are, you know, Got that it. you've been making fun of me. I'm not. <laughs> I love I'm it you, of all but brows. I love that you brought it to our attention because this is such a great little fix. I'm just cleaning up the edge right here so we can, I'm going to fill them in. Okay. And uh, we're just going to get our full shape happening here. This is okay. as where I need to watch. I know. Way. I love, I could do this all day long. Seriously, just like pull up a chair and here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the tote pencil. So I am going to take off this little brow hair. Okay. So now that we have, can you kind of see, you can kind of see the shapes in there now a little bit. They're still sparse, mm -hmm. but we're going to take our taupe and we're going to go back down here, right? We're doing border, border, fill. Border, border, so we fill. start with the bottom and we're going to fill that little hole where she had that overtaken arch bit. And we're going to come up into the corner here and then we're going to come to our top border. And the real estate is up here. Do you guys see? Mm -hmm. you, have to, you, you have to commit to that. You can't be afraid. Now, okay. is that somewhere you'll put a, like, hair stroke? I could. So if I, you know, she could be two products as well. Got it. Um, we could go back in and toss some hair strokes in here, or we could just do one step um, where we do just the taupe pencil. Turn towards me a tiny bit. Okay, and then obviously the spoolie is always the magic at the end. Got to so, blend it out. Got to yeah. blend it out. Yeah, you don't, want it, you don't want those borders to show. And then remember, she has this little hole so we don't want to blend that off, right? So we got to keep the filler in the hole. Um, but we do want the rest of it to look soft and pretty. And where she doesn't have a lot of hair, we definitely want to kind of keep the product in. With, you know, and with it looking soft in the front, you always want to make sure your fronts are a little bit softer 
And that's where I usually like to toss in some hair strokes, just because you don't need a block to start your brow. Those hard edges, ne never a good look. Okay, I'm gonna actually fine tune her arch a little bit more. Uh, everyone is loving the arch tip. Amazing, I love it. So we're just gonna jump in here and just give her a little bit more of an arch. And wait till oh, she sees I, her. The difference is ridiculous. Her brow. Right? I can't, I can't wait for you to, to be transformed. I mean, it's already happened. I just need to do your other side so you match. Um, so Wendy would like to know how to cover part gray brows, if you have any um, tips for that. So part gray brows is um, a great brow gel product, or I would tint them. Mm. You can brow tint with a vegetable dye, and mm. um, it, depending, usually gray is good to have just like a taupey color. You can taupe down those gray brows. So this is sort of the before and after. Can you guys sort of oh see? Oh my God. Wow. Jody! Wow. 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 Right? So there's nothing small about these brows. You just have to use all your real estate. Wow. And you have to listen to the hairs. They grow down. She'll never get an arch in the right spot if she tries to brush them up. So the should we do now. the other side? Yes. Know. Okay, yeah, do the other side. Oh, this Clarissa says this is magic, and I Carrie says she could watch this all day long. So uh, yes, let's please do it. the other I side. Love it. I love it. Because like, there's trends, obviously, that you want to emulate, but it's about knowing how to translate it for yourself. Exactly. As opposed to just and that's the happening. most important thing. And it's one thing that I'd say, we definitely do it on our Instagram. If you are brow obsessed, I would love to tell you to go follow Flybrow. Um, because we do brows all day long. I give tips in every before and after picture. I'm obsessed with helping the world get better brows because I would rather walk around and be like, amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be like, oh, if I could only stop her in the elevator and teach her how to fill her eyebrows in better. Um, so anyway, same thing on this side. So you see they're kind of sparse in the tail. They were taken off. Um, they, <laughs> they grow down. So if we try and brush them up, they're going to do that U thing again where they just kind of go U-E. They get thinner. They get thinner, <laughs> yes. So the only way to get fully maximize them is to brush them down. Can I turn your head this mm -hmm. way or am I stepping in front of anything here? Okay, so sorry. I just need to really quickly sniff that out. Okay, one more. I know this is probably not good for TV, my like elbow in your face, but... Okay, we That's can turn right. her back. Liz is glued to watching this. Amazing. We are all also, your nails, I just have oh, to say, are amazing. Oh, thank you. Amazing. If you live in LA, I get them done in Santa Monica. Pinky's nails. Love that. <laughs> I'm always upset. I feel like my, my hands are my tools. So that's where the attention goes. Oh, absolutely. That's how I notice them. I'm staring right out. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, so. So you see how we kind of gave her that arch back in the right spot again? It's mm -hmm. kind of moved back a little and. Again, we didn't make them thin. Sometimes cleaning up a brow actually makes it look thicker if you clean it up properly. Mm. You know, sometimes people think that if they just grow them all over the place, it will be a thicker brow. But the truth is, it's um, thicker when it has tighter margins. I feel like I should take Jody's pulse right now with those tweezers on her face. I know. Are you okay? Are you I doing actually okay? trust you completely. Uh, I feel zen. Amazing. So we have a question. When you're strategically cutting the brows and yes. you only do the front half, can you talk a little bit more about how to know? I mean, I'm assuming you should probably go to a professional for something like I, that. I think cutting is not something you should do at home, mm. to be honest. I think a cutting, there's a lot of cutting mistakes. So when people brush their brows all the way up and hold them and then kind of cut it in and then you let it go and it's like, tick, 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 tick. Not a good, not a good thing. Not a good look. Never hold and cut. If you're gonna cut yourself, you're gonna want to brush them and let them bounce. So the hairs kind of like want to do what they want to do anyway, and they're gonna bounce. And then you can trim them a little bit. And sometimes you just need to trim the tips off. It's enough. You don't need to make that tight, hedgy hmm. look. You're, if you're not a professional and you want to do it at home. Uh, Danielle so. says your brows are looking gorgeous. Amazing. And Summer wants to know if it's okay to brow tint with men's beard dye. I hear that a lot. It is. It is. Just um, be careful that it's not. It, men's beard dye is meant to really take like a thick, coarse hair. So just don't do it too dark. I would hate for you to have like black groucho marks. Yeah, we don't want that. Mm. Eyebrows. <laughs> um, and anything's with trial. I would take a little bit of that beard dye and just tint the back end. If it takes and it's really nice, then you can do your Fill whole brows. Yeah. How do you know if waxing, tweezing, or threading is best for you? So they're all just different techniques. Um, I prefer waxing and tweezing. I think waxing is really clean. It gets all the like little baby hairs off of your brows. But I think that um, threading is just like a cultural thing. I don't love it for eyebrows. I think it's not as exact to me. I also am not 100% sure if you need a license to be a threader. Someone else can confirm that. I have no mm -hmm. idea. But um, you know, you do have, you have to be licensed to do waxing and tweezing in this country. Um, and so, 
All right, now, and now I have to make sure they're even, and I feel like I don't want you guys staring at my booty if I step in front of the camera. <laughs> now, is there somewhere specific the tail should end in relation to the eye? Um, so, you know, it's funny. You can do all those measurements, but sometimes it's hard to know when you're getting it right or not. Basically, it's up from a diagonal from the corner of the eye. It's my opinion that you shouldn't really take anything off the ends because you know, even if they're, they feel really too long, they're not going to blend into your hair. Unless you're maybe Middle Eastern, Persian, Indian, you could need to sort of pick an end to that. But most of the time, where they end is where they should end. A lot of people, it's a fad right now, where they take them to a pointy tip, very, then they cut off your actual natural tail. It's not my style. I prefer more nature over manufactured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Sarah says this is super therapeutic to watch. People are really into <laughs> I this. Love I love it. it. Yay. And everyone also wants to know what your Instagram is again so that they can follow you. Yes. So my Instagram for Flybrow is at Flybrow, F-L-Y-B-R-O-W. And you'll see all kinds of brows. You can't get stuck in the wrong place. Um, and then if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Susie Moldovan. And don't ask me how to spell it. Just kidding. <laughs> it's in our description somewhere. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me just fine tune this, this corner. Now that it's all coming together, you guys can see it sort of taking shape. Yeah, it looks beautiful, Susie. Thank you. I mean, the difference is truly magic. Yeah, this is a girl who was like brushing her brows up and was so worried about them being who small. Was I? I don't know. What was I doing? Are you going out tonight, Jones? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Plans. Also, remember, I want her to think of me tomorrow morning. Yes. It's like, <laughs> she can go out tonight, fine, because I filled them in. But I would love for her tomorrow morning to wake up and be like, oh my god, my brows have an arch. Because that would be amazing. A beautiful arch. A beautiful arch. This really is so fascinating. I love it. Thank I really love it. Tips. Thank you so much for having me. I could talk eyebrows all day long. <laughs> I mean, Alicia is finding these tips super useful. Everyone is loving it. Thank and, you. And uh, everyone, we are using the Ish Brow Pencil. In taupe. In taupe. Yes. And we use Jody's medium brown, medium I think, brown. on yes. Lauren. Yes, medium on Lauren. Exactly. Medium brown. Great. So let's see how we feel. Oh my god. Look at you. My new woman. Yes, you're a brand new Should woman. Wow. Oh, I mean, we didn't even take yes. any before and after Who pictures, knew? but you guys saw it. Honestly, I, I really, really appreciate oh, here, this. Here, look, could you want to I see mean, it in yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, please, take a look. Wow, honestly, <laughs> I'm actually pretty stunned. Aren't you? Yes. Wait, it also helped you have an amazing blowout this morning. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank um, you so much. So maybe you do need to go out tonight. Maybe. Yeah, I, really do. You both Wait, I really, I really appreciate this. You are so welcome. I'm it's so happy to do it. It's just being armed with the right information. That's it. Thank you. You're so welcome. My oh pleasure. Oh my God. Uh, so. Lily Collins should now officially be jealous Thank of both you. of you. Yeah, amazing. Know. Yes. Susie. Brow crushes you. everywhere. Thank you so much. This Thank you so much. This is truly incredible. I love it. Thank you guys so much for having me. Before we let you go. Yes. Tell everyone where they can find you again. Just yes, so I would knows. love to. So Flybrow is a mobile brow business. Right now we are in California and we do go to a lot of offices. While you work, you can get your brows done during the day. Like why would we sit in a salon if you're sitting at work? We bring the errand to you. So you can DM us or message us if you want to find us. We're in California now. We hope to grow all over the place soon. And follow our Instagram and you can DM us and communicate with us all the time. I'm always happy to give brow tips and tailor it to you. Thank you so much, Thank you, Susie. Thank you guys so much. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this you. Is amazing. All right, everyone. Who is ready for another chance at a prize? So let's get right to deep trivia of the day. All right, we are going to ask one trivia question, and the first three people to answer correctly on our Facebook page win. So let's keep our brow theme going. And here is the question. What did Lady Gaga use to create her brows for her La Vie en Rose performance in A Star is Born? One more time. What did Lady Gaga use to create her brows for her La Vie en Rose performance in A Star is Born? And remember what Legal said. It's the first three people that we see. So let's get those guesses going. All right, I'm still just obsessed with the brow moment that just happened. I cannot get over the transformation. All right, we have bacon as a guess. Sure, why not? Mascara, a lot of guesses for mascara. For bacon, we, Sharpie. All right, we've got some good guesses here. What else do we have? Let's see. We have a lot for bacon. A really, a lot of guesses for bacon. It's, you guys are on the right track with Sharpie. Maybe something, uh, stick on brows. Someone said fly brow. Someone said no idea. Uh, glitter, uh, it's 
let's give you a little bit of a hint here. It's something that comes in many different forms. There's different types of this item. You might use it at school, at work, uh, for a little bit more heavy duty purposes. Is that helping you guys at all? All right, we have a guess for eyeliner. We have marker. All right, um, all right, you guys, you might use it for crafting. It's sticky. Does that help? Um, you can use it to stick things together. There's an electrical version. We've got more guesses for eyeliner, marker, glue stick, pencil. You use it to stick things together or to stick something to something else. Keep guessing. All right. One side is sticky. It starts with a T. Come on, guys. It rhymes with, mm, how do I do this without giving it away? It rhymes with grape. Come on, guys. You got this. We can do this together. It rhymes with grape. You guys got this. It is sticky and it rhymes with grape. I know you've got this. Uh, we had guesses for glue gun, hot glue, um, sticky note. All right, he peeled it. If you've seen Star is Born, he peeled it off for her. Something that you can peel rhymes with grape. More guesses for sticky note. You guys are on the right track there. Are we getting closer? Should I give you a bigger hint? Did we get it? I think we've got it. All right, you guys are getting it now. OK, and the answer is black tape. <laughs> All right, our producers have found our winners. So congratulations to Julie S., Sandy Mack, and Violaine G. Congratulations, ladies. All right, let's get to spinning. Here we go. We'll see what you guys have won. All right, what do we have today? Let's get something good. There we go, an ish bundle. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Now, be sure to join us on Monday for more FabFitFun Live, and we will see you then. Bye, everyone.